Welcome back to Fast Money. We've got another big week of earnings coming up next week. Among the companies reporting, Alibaba, GM, Uber, Square, DraftKings. So which one are you watching? Nadine, what do you say? I'm watching Square. I think that people painted the same brush as PayPal, the Square. So you've got a little bit more of an attractive entry price. We're also seeing big implied volatility premiums. So people are protecting this name. If we can learn a little bit more about how they're connecting their ecosystems, our trading range is about 235 to 275. So between now and Thursday, if you can get at the low end of the range, I think it would be pretty asymmetric. Um, they have so many ways to play what they're doing. We're going to learn a lot strategically. And I think this is a great name to own and hold. Brian Kelly. Yeah, you know, for me, I'd look at Uber, right? So what we've seen, particularly in the transportation space, is we've had this reopening, but they do more than that. They're doing delivery. And we're seeing, at least on the private company level, a lot of uh, action in the grocery delivery area. A lot of companies getting bought out, a lot of venture capital in there. And I, wa I want to see how Uber is going against that competition and how well they're doing against that competition. So I think that'll be really interesting to see if they can expand their product lines. Steve? Viacom. Viacom had a forced liquidation uh, a bunch of months ago, and it's done nothing but move sideways. It's building a base. I'm still in it. It's down from $100. It's trading around 37 to 45 for months now. I think this thing is getting ready to explode. I just want to see what they look like next week, but I'm staying in the trade. Are you thinking it's a, some sort of takeover? Yeah, I think, I think that the, the, the dance partners have been around with yeah. streaming, and everyone seems to have found a JV or a partner, and I think Viacom has a lot of assets there, and they should be the next up. Now, I don't know what any of the traders are going to say yeah. when I ask them which names that they're going to watch. I'm really hoping somebody's going to say Alibaba. But oh. I'm watching Alibaba, Mel. And let me tell you why. This <laughs> are you serious? Has been in, no, I actually, I was literally just going to make something up when All you right. got no, to no, me. No, go ahead. No, but go Alibaba ahead. is kind of interesting. And I actually, my final trade last night was FXI. Alibaba is like 10% yeah. of the FXI. And listen, obviously, we know all the headlines. We don't know how it's going to play out. I have to assume we're kind of getting close here. This stock is down from 320. It got down to 180, I think, a week or two ago. Um, you know, had a nice little bounce. Um, you know, I, I don't know. I, I don't think much of what they say is going to change anything that uh, U.S. investors who've been selling it change their but minds right now. We need to see something come from up top. Now, what were you really going to say? Well, I find Uber really interesting. Uber's down 15% <laughs> on the year, and it's down a lot from its highs earlier in the year. And if you live in a place like New York City, and you look at the availability of Ubers and the pricing of Ubers, it feels like the pandemic broke that business model to me. So I want to see it's back at the, the lows from a couple months ago. Let's see if we can hold that. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.